Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. In our last lab, we had discussed about installation of ESXi 6.5 in virtual machine. In this video, we will be browsing through the DCUI interface of our ESXi host and how you can interact with the console of your ESXi server to perform basic operations like configuring management network, setting up DNS server, changing the root password, enabling ESXi shell, restarting management agents, or restarting your management network. So these are the few options actually, which we'll be going through. So let's get started. So if you see, this is our ESXi host, right? Which we created in our previous lab, ESX1. This is the name of your ESXi VM, ESX1018.vmlab.local. 6.5.0 is the ESXi version. And the build number is 5969603. Now the only difference, uh, what is there is basically, I have added two more vCPUs to our ESXi host. Earlier it was configured with two vCPUs. I added another two more vCPUs for more computing and better speed. And I've added another 8 GB, another 4 GB memory. So total we have a 4 vCPUs and 8 GB memory to our ESXi host. Now in this DCUI console, if you see at the bottom of this screen, we have a F2 for customizing the system and view logs, and we have a F12 for shutdown and restart. So if you want to shut down or restart your ESXi host, you can just press F12. And once you press this F12, right? So in general, whenever you are trying to access the DCUI interface of your ESXi host, you always need to give a password of root user. So it is very important to remember the root user password. So in our case, I have given, I'll just enter the password of our ESXi host. So once you give the password, if you want to shut down it, just press F2. If you want to restart, press F11. And if you want to cancel this operation, just press escape. Now forcefully terminate, VM's option is basically, so basically by default what happens, your running virtual machines will be powered off, suspended or shut down according to the current system shutdown policy, whatever you have set it. So it will honor those policy and do it that way. So just, so we are not doing shutdown, so just press escape key. Now there's a F2 key for customizing your system, right? So F2, just press F2 key again, give your root user credentials now in this particular lab of dcui interface interactive browsing through dcui interface i'll be covering a networking part in the second part of this lab we'll discuss we'll discuss about the other op other options which are available so let's see how do we configure networking so go to the configure management network that is the option through which we configure all the management network connectivity of our ESXi host. So press enter. Now there, if you see, we have a couple of other options, network adapters. Once you click on network adapters tab, it shows you how many network cards you have in your ESXi host. So if the first column, if you see device name, it is showing you, you have a three network card and ESXi kernel has enumerated those network card as VMNIC 0, VMNIC 1, and VMNIC 2. The second column is talking about the MAC address of your, of your network adapters. And third one is talking about the status, or it is showing you status of your physical network adapter connectivity. So if you see, we have a three network cards and all of the three networks card are in connected state. So there is no network configuration issue as such. Now, if you see the VMNIC zero is having a cross mark, what does that mean? It means this ESXi host will be getting its management network connectivity via this network adapter. Even though it has a three network adapters, but it will be getting this connectivity from the one which is selected. If you want to change this, if you want to select, let's say VMNIC 1 for the management network connectivity, just select the VMNIC 1 and then press escape key. So if you want to select any of the entity in this DCI console interface, just press escape key. And that's how if you see, we have all the three network cards are connected. 
so we'll go with the vmnic zero as a default one so i'm just deselecting it press enter key then go to vlan vlan option so if you want to configure manage vlan for your management network connectivity this is the option where you can define your whatever is your management network vlan id you can define it here and it will be set for your management network connectivity it will be configured for your management network connectivity ipv4 configuration so ipv4 configuration is actually uh, where we go and configure our management network connectivity so if you look at the first option disable if you select this option it means it will disable all your ipv4 network configuration for your management network connectivity so we don't want that so now we have a second option use dynamic ipv4 address and this is for your dhcp connectivity if you want to assign a dhcp ip for your management network connectivity just select that option and press escape key so this option will be selected now if you want to assign a static ip to your esxi host for its management network connectivity just select the third option press escape key and if you have observed ipv4 address subnet mask and gateway has been highlighted highlighted now so you can go and just set the management network ip whichever you have it you have reserved it for this network subnet mask then gateway now our recommend vmware recommendation is you always assign a static ip to your infra server esxi server is one of your infra server right which is going to host a lots of lots of vms so it is always recommend to have a static ip configured for your esxi host so we have a static ip configured just press enter key and then let's go to ipv6 configuration so if you want to enable ipv6 if you want to disable it just select first option it will disable your ipv6 configuration similarly if you want to assign a dhcp based ipv6 address you can select this option or if you want to assign a static ipv6 address just select this option and specify what are the static addresses you want to assign for your management network connectivity since we are not assigning any of the ipv6 addresses so let's skip this part if you want to skip it just press escape now next we have a dns configuration so dns configuration is basically where you can go and configure your dns server since we have selected static ip address for our esxi host that's the reason your first option obtain dns server address and a host name automatically is grayed out and by default the option is selected is statically assigning your dns server address so my dns server address is 20.20.20.1 you can assign an alternate dns server as well and the host name is basically whichever the host name you want to give it to your esxi host so we have given esx hyphen 01a press ok key then your dns suffix so dns suffix is basically your domain name whichever you have you want to configure for your entire nested lab environment where you want to host all the servers in a one specific domain you can specify that domain name here so we have configured domain name vm lab dot local because this is the domain i have configured for our nest, for my nested lab environment so press enter okay so we have configured all the network configuration just press skip key to come out of this window and then save this changes so this now second option is restart management network now restart management network in, is required whenever you want to restart your networking or you want to let's say you have assigned a dhcp ip address to your esxi server for management network connectivity and you want to renew the dhcp ip so this is the option which will go and try to restart all your net management network connectivity test management network this test management network will help you to perform a brief network test okay so when your esxi host comes up let's say you install the esxi host it comes up it get the some ip from the you assign some static ip for your esxi host now this could be a good good uh, so this is a very helpful configuration wizard where basically you can specify some of the important ips and just to have a quick check of your esxi network connectivity whether it is it is able to reach out to the devices in a network or not or whether it is able to reach out to the default gateway or its dns server for the host name resolution so you can specify 
your default gateway IP as a first IP. You can also define any of the other infra server, whatever you have. So I have a 20.20.20.2. .20 Similarly, you can assign any of the other system IP and your host name. So we can define a, a we can ping to any of the three server and then host name. Whatever the host name you have assigned to your server. And it will do a quick test and it will show you whether it's okay or failed. So that's a pretty good check basically where you could say your ESX has the right network connectivity. Now then we have a network restore options. Network restore options is used to restore your network settings and it will revert all your network configuration and will automatically configure the network with the factory default settings. So let's say if you messed up with your networking, you might have misconfigured some VLAN or something you have messed up with the network and you're not sure what is what 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 is causing this kind of issues right so this is a dcy so you can connect to a dcy console of your esxi host go to the restore network settings and restore the network configuration so once you press enter and you press f11 key it will reset your entire host network configuration to the your factory default settings so that's what your network configuration from the DCUI perspective. In our next lab exercise, we'll be going through the, the remaining options which we haven't gone through. Thank you.